Alkynes are organic compounds that contain at least one carbon-carbon triple bond. We remember that a triple bond refers to a bond between, in this case, two carbon atoms where each atom donates three electrons and as a result three bonds are formed between those atoms. Alkynes get the suffix YNE and have the general formula CnH2n-2. We would name a, an alkyne by counting the number of carbons in the longest chain. In this case, this chain has three carbons. Three carbons we know gets the prefix prop. And we know that it should get the suffix YNE, but we need to indicate the position of that triple bond. And we always count from the side that makes that triple bond on the smallest number carbon possible. So this would be called prop one iron. The condensed structural formula for this molecule would then be written as CH3CCH and then the reader would be required to see that a triple bond is necessary to ensure that each carbon has formed three bonds. The next one we would follow the same pattern where we count the number of carbons in the longest chain where a bend in the chain does not affect the chain length. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we know that this gets the prefix oct. We can see that there are three triple bonds present, which means that this is going to be a triiron, and we indicate the position of those three double bonds by seeing that they are on the first, fourth, and sixth carbon. So we say oct, one, four, six, triiron. And the condensed structural formula for this molecule can be written as CH3 followed by a C followed by another C, 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 CH2, C, CH. And our final example here, we can see that there is a triple bond and a double bond present, which would suggest that this is both an alkyne and an alkene. But the alkyne takes preference over the alkene, so we follow the same numbering pattern. One, two, three, four. This is a butte molecule. And what we do to indicate that there is a double and a triple bond is we say that this is butte 3 in 1 iron where we always number so that the main functional group, in this case the triple bond, has the smallest possible number, which is why we have numbered from the left. And we always show that there is the alkene first and the main functional group comes last. This type of question, a question in which there are two different functional groups, would not appear in the NSC syllabus, but this is just for interest sake how you would answer a question like this. We can then see that each of these alkynes subscribes to the general formula CNH2N-2 by looking at prop one iron, seeing that that contains three carbons and one, two, three, four hydrogens, C3H4. And this molecule over here would not necessarily subscribe to this formula because this formula applies when there is only one triple bond. And here there are three triple bonds, so this general formula only applies in cases where there is one triple bond present. And finally, it is important to remember that a compound that contains a double or a triple bond or a multiple bond is said to be unsaturated. It is only the alkanes that are saturated compounds.